I'm in an Audi RS4 and next to me is a Porsche 911 991 GTS and we're going to have a drag race because these cars are very evenly matched in terms of their engines. So I've got a six cylinder engine, so is that. This is actually a V6, that's a flat six. I've got 2.9 litres, he's got three litres. I've got two turbos, that's got two turbos. I've got 450 horsepower, that's got 450 horsepower, but I have 600 newton metres of torque that has 550 newton meters of torque. We've both got automatic gearboxes. Mine is an eight speed with a sort of launch control. That is a seven speed with the best launch control in the business. However, to make up for that, I've got all wheel drive. That's just rear wheel drive. Let's see what happens. Before we do though, make sure you subscribe to this channel. Also hit the bell icon to turn your notifications on so you're alerted when we make a new upload so you don't miss a video. Right then, let's see what happens. Off the line first, Quattro all-wheel drive. That Porsche does rock it though. Is he coming back? He's coming back steadily. Can I beat him to the coat? Come on, come on, Audi, come on, Audi, come on, Audi. <laughs> this was quicker off the line. Quattro all-wheel drive, boom, gone. And in some ways, launch control, there's always a delay when you release the brake for it engaging, whereas when you've got a torque converter auto, it kind of balances it on the power, so it's always straining at the leash. So when you release the brake, it just goes because it's already wound up. There's no dumping of clutches. But then, yeah, the Porsche was always gaining and we need a photo finish. Click on the pop-out bar in the top right-hand corner of the screen to vote which you think won. I'll give you some time to think about that. Then we'll have an action replay. Right, you done? Okay, let's find out what happened. Well, I can tell you both cars did the standing quarter mile in 12.1 seconds, but the Porsche just edged it by a nose. Right then, what we're going to do now is have a rolling race from 50 miles an hour, and we'll have the cars in their sportiest settings and sports in the automatic setting of the gearbox. So here we go. Three, two, one, go. Oh, mine took a while to kick down. That Porsche was ahead, definitely. And look at it go. Oh, oh, it's obvious. His gearbox definitely kicked down quicker than this. I mean, it's in sports mode, so yeah, it's kicked down as fast as it's ever going to, but the Porsche, it's got less torque, but it's lighter. This is 1800 kilos, that is 1500 kilos. So that's gonna make a difference as well. But you know, for a big old estate car, this does so well. Okay, so now we're going to do the race again, but we're in third gear and we're going to be in manual mode. So I'm going to count it in. Three, two, one, go. Got to change gear. Now there's less in it. It shows. Oh, it's come past now, that Porsche. It shows that the gearbox in this was a bit of an Achilles heel compared to the one in the Porsche, but that PDK gearbox in the Porsche, it's the best automatic, I think, in a performance car. It's absolutely brilliant. This is just a normal eight-speed auto. Great off the line, because it's a torque converter, but not so quick when it comes to kicking down. When you hold it in gear, and you're just doing it manual, there's not so much in it in the initial pickup, but that Porsche does eventually get going. It's lighter, makes a difference, doesn't it? Right then, we're gonna have a brake test now from 70 miles an hour. When we hit the white line, full emergency stop, We'll see what happens, though I think I have a pretty good idea. Here comes the white line. <laughs> and, and there you have it, folks. The effect of 300 extra kilograms. The Porsche definitely won that one. Victory overall then to the Porsche 911 GTS, but then that does cost almost 100,000 pounds, whereas this starts from just over 60,000 pounds, and it's more practical. You can really fit people in the back seats of this, not in that, there are condos back seats, and I've got a big boot as well. There's one thing that annoys me, it's whenever I break hard, the blooming hazard lights come on. It's my only complaint. If you enjoyed this video please like it comment on it and share it also click on our logo to subscribe to this channel and if you click on the bottom right hand corner you can actually watch more of our content meanwhile click over to the right to go to our deals page to see how much money you can save on a new car at car wow